Hey there, Lake Avenue Church family. Pastor Scott White with our Friday update. Now you're probably asking yourself, why am I standing in this empty space in our worship center? I'll get to that in just a moment. But first I wanna invite you and give you a quick preview this upcoming Sunday. The Right Reverend Dr. Charles Hunt our family minister's pastor, associate pastor Chuck, will be opening God's word as we continue these encounters with Jesus, stories from the gospel. He's looking at a portrait of some friends, pretty well-known story. Uh, uh, We see Jesus at work doing his ministry thing, but we see it take place in a very unusual circumstance. You'll have to come Sunday to find out a well-known story but an unusual way to engage with Jesus. So there's a lot going on in the life at Lake right now, and that's why I'm in this empty corridor, because it won't be empty for much longer. There will be a lot of things going on. So I wanna tell you about some of those things. Now they're all gonna be below me, and they might pop up on screen. All the details are gonna be other places, but I want you to think about, we just talked last weekend about surrendering a number of things. One of them, might need to be some of our calendar because I want you to see all that's coming up in the life of Lake very shortly. Starting with Sundays in November 7 and 14. Those two weeks we're going to have a chance to hear from Pastor Jeff Matisich's heart as he wraps up his ministry time with us. Loving God, loving others. Put that on your schedule as very high priority and on the On the 14th, we're going to have some time for appreciation and celebration for Jeff and Jenny. So I hope you'll plan particularly to to stick around a little bit and just share your love and appreciation for them and with them. Also along the way, with the 14th in mind, at that same day that we're celebrating Jeff and Jenny, we're welcoming back Project Angel Tree. Project Angel Tree is something we've done for years here. It's part of our focus on incarceration and re-entry ministries. Project Angel Tree, you come get a tag right out here in the lobby, there'll be a Christmas tree. I know that's hard to believe. There'll be a Christmas tree, you pick up a tag. And what you're doing is you're buying a gift and bringing it back to us on behalf of an incarcerated prisoner whose family is right here in the greater Pasadena area so that their child or children receives a gift from their incarcerated parents. And if you want to be a part of delivering that, we got opportunities to do that too. We actually deliver the gift to the family on behalf of the incarcerated parent. So Project Angel Tree is back. November 14th, pick up the tag. And if you're online, you can do it electronically. You'll learn more about that. Just follow the event page. And then on 21st, we'll bring the gifts back and we'll start to package those up to share. Now, as I said, a lot going on. Uh, Next week on the 28th, we have a special congregational meeting. You can find out more information about that. That's the day after Palooza, which takes place in our parking place. I just liked all the P's for the alliteration or our parking lot for Palooza next Wednesday, the 27th. So many things, I said, is going on. November 6th. We've got a women's retreat. It's a half day retreat on a Saturday. Good chance to be with some of the other women of the church and just ask God to to wrap his arms around you, to care for you and to be in fellowship with some of your other sisters, especially if you're newer to the Lake family. Hey, come on on campus and get to know some of the women in the church. Okay, now I don't know exactly what the traditional gift is for 125th birthday, but we're gonna have one of those. On November 21st, it just happens to be Lake Avenue Church's 125th birthday, y'all. Yeah, so figure out what to bring as a gift. And um, we're going to celebrate looking back a bit, thanking God, absolutely, and looking forward. God, what does it mean to be faithful in the days to come? He's been faithful to Lake for 125 years. What will our faithfulness look like as we continue to look forward. And then with looking forward in mind, I know this is hard to believe, but as they say, look at this. It's a completely empty corridor right now. But that's not going to be the case soon. All these things I said that are going on on campus, many of those things will take place right here in our worship center, including on November 28th, the beginning of Advent. I know 
How does that happen? Pandemic time is like no other calendar, right? Well, it's Advent time, but we are back together this year for Advent. How awesome is that? With all the things the lake is well known for during its Advent season. We're kicking off Advent 1128. That's the first Sunday. This year it's in November. And we're kicking it off also with our new service time. Our single service will begin at 9.30 a.m. on 11.28. So put that in your calendar. You'll get plenty of reminders along the way over the next many weeks before we get there. But on 11.28, our new service time begins at 9.30. Well, looking forward to seeing you as you fill this space behind me and all the other spaces on this campus, both here as well as the virtual spaces as together we continue to seek to love God well and to serve others. So blessings on you as you decide what part of your calendar to surrender. See, you knew I'd bring it back to last week, right? What part of your calendar you're going to surrender so that you can participate in the life of Lake and what God's doing here. All right, now get back to your regularly scheduled Friday, Lake, and make it a great weekend.